public hearing on HCR 8. Melissa, can you please summarize the measure? Yes, Madam Chair, members of the committee, House Concurrent Resolution 8 designates rescued shelter dogs and cats as the official state pet. Excellent. I am going to call up Representative Gomberg, Senator Solman, and Governor Martin. And while they are up, I will just say this is a measure that is close to my heart and that of my dog, uh, rescue shelter dog Watson. I see that there's also a fair amount of written testimony here uh, on this measure, including from a dog named Archie. So maybe Watson <laughs> will submit testimony. So uh, with that, Representative Gomberg. Well, thank you so much, uh, Chair Fahey, members of the committee. I'm going to defer to <laughs> Senator Solomon because she is chairing a committee next yes. door. Go right ahead. So I'm going to invite her to <laughs> go first. Thank you so much. I'm so incredibly happy to be here at this for this opportunity. Chair Fahey and members of the committee for the record, and I'm sorry, Vice Chair Krupp, Vice Chair Bree Syverson and members of the committee, I am Janine Salmon. I'm the state senator for Senate District 15, which includes areas of Forest Grove, Cornelius, Hillsboro, and the Rock Creek Unincorporated Washington County. Yes. See? <laughs> Exclamation point. Um, I am excited to be here to talk about the opportunity today to support HCR 8. Uh, this bill will help raise public awareness for shelter animals and many shelters around the state of Oregon. So I want to provide you some in interesting facts that we had uh, that our office discovered regarding rescue pets. So according to the Best Friends Animal Society, Oregon stats, uh, the data for the state level is formulated using a blend of known stats from 21, uh, 20, 21, and um, 19, sorry, which, um, whichever is most recent from each shelter. And the, these are estimated numbers, so 81% of the Oregon shelters reported their numbers, and these shelters represent an estimated almost 96% of the total number of shelters in Oregon. So in 2021, nearly 625 dogs and cats were euthanized in animal shelters across Oregon. Uh, 40,762 cats and dogs entered a shelter and 36,711 cats and dogs were saved, 90%. Uh, Oregon Values and Belief Center says that one in three, or 34%, of Oregonians adopted a pet since roughly the onset of the pandemic. One in three, or 32% of Oregonians, have a close friend or family member who adopted a pet at the peak of COVID-related closures. One in 10 Oregonians broke from the traditional dog-cat route and adopted a different kind of pet, 11% uh, of them, which is a fun fact that Mrs. Jones's class, fourth graders from Quatama Elementary, would appreciate me sharing because they are interested in supporting this bill, but did request an amendment that we um, add all shelter animals, uh, rescue animals. So um, only 4% of Oregonians have, have never had a pet. And nearly 93% of Oregonians consider their pets part of our family. <coughs> and or we call fur babies uh, nearly 86 percent of pets can help you say can help um, f folks feel less lonely 86 percent of the folks say that they um, have their animals to help them deal with lon loneliness or stress levels so personally my family has welcomed three rescue pets um, though the question always is who rescued who um, my first dog um, Snoopy was a purebred. He was a beagle. And uh, we adopted him from Animal Aid. He was with us for 15 years of his blessed life. And Cato, our cat, who, while not officially rescued from a shelter, we did rescue him from the life of a barn as a barn cat. Uh, 18 years of feisty love that cat gave us. <coughs> and I'll just never forget uh, the night that uh, my dad passed away. So if we talk about stress and trauma, um, I'll never forget the time, the night that my dad passed away. And I came home after 1 a.m. and pacing and emotional. And um, my animals followed me every single place that I went. And when I finally sat down, they both crawled up into my lap without being invited. They just knew that they needed to provide that, um, that care for me. 
And so I want um, animals know when their their humans are suffering, and they offer that comfort and that unconditional love. And while this uh, during the pandemic, they served our hearts as well. As humans, we craved more companionship, and they delivered. So Annie is our terrier rescue love, and she's a vivacious uh, mix of Beagle and Jack Russell. And she works for carrots and runs for sticks. And I want to say that I believe our loved um, pets offer that companionship. They offer love. They ingrain a healthy level of responsibility and character building in our children and give us plenty of love. So while we can honor all the wonderful organizations by passing this bill, um, they do, we can do our part by adopting this policy and making our rescue shelter dogs and cats the official Oregon State pet. Bob Barker would be proud mm -hmm. and Betty White would be elated. And Senator Peter Courtney regrets that he could not be here today, but he shared with me personally that he sends support of this bill as a longtime champion for animal rights and care. And fur babies everywhere, uh, they would support this, uh, this bill and because it's going to create awareness for helping them find their forever home. Um, colleagues, I thank you, and I respectfully ask your and urge your support of HCR 8. Thank you.